1950s, Americans worried about and they planned for possible nuclear holocaust. Well, that age of fear is past, but we have global terrorism now. There's a lot of chaos in the world. Of course, all those natural disasters. And it's easy to think, well, how should I prepare myself and my family for disaster? Anthony Kovic wrote the book. It's called Emergency Prepping Simple Disaster Preparedness for the Modern Family. Anthony, how do I know what it is exactly I'm preparing my family to uh, protect itself against? You want to protect yourself from the basics of disasters, S storms that come in, um, power outages, blackouts, things that will destroy your, your food supply, especially if it's in the freezer for a couple of days or a week. Now, people hear conversations like this, and they probably say, I don't have to prepare. The trucks are always going to be running, delivering food. I'm, I'm pretty content. And they probably don't take the kinds of steps that you recommend. That is true. We live in a great country where our systems and distribution networks always are working on time and working well. So we haven't been used to that kind of issues. All right, so what are the first steps? What is it should I buy and have on hand in the home? Canned goods like soups are the best thing. Dry foods like beef jerkies, power bars, stuff that have a great shelf life. So you don't need to have elaborate kind of preparedness. These sound like very simple, inexpensive steps that a family could take. Very simple, very inexpensive. Most people live in cities, high rises. You cannot bring generators and stuff like that in high rises. Where do you keep all of this? Just in the standard family pantry? Standard family pantry. You get a couple of bins. You put them underneath your bed. You have a good two to two weeks supply ready to roll a bug up pack so you can bail out if you have to leave town and you're good to go yeah i know a lot of companies actually sell these kinds of things i've seen it advertised at costco in fact that is true a lot of companies have gone in on the emergency prepping um, business some of the companies have um, long shelf life products 10 20 25 years i've seen them but you know i don't know if you want to eat something that's been around for 20 <laughs> yeah. years well, taste maybe isn't the top priority when you're really facing a disaster. Okay, Anthony Kovic, thank you so much. Thank you.